Hi everyone, how are you doing? This is Jordan and today we're going to discuss silver. Uh, my long-term view here basically remains bullish and inside the club we've been trading this thing already and actually collected first target with this push up during the last sessions. However, in my opinion, um, in the very long term, and I'm going to start with that because this is actually important. We have reached the 18 plus zone and we can be still going to around 16. All right. So long term, keep in mind that this thing could be continuing lower. Now on the shorter term, I do believe that the price is set for a pullback. What we can see is that from the last swing, which starts here, we have a structure, we have bullish divergence, and in my opinion, at least we can expect this thing to provide us with um, corrective structures here, at least, and then continuation lower, or maybe even the reversal from this very point and then going up. That being said, we can go to the lower time frames where we can see on the four hour chart, there is a delta pattern already here. And there are some pretty interesting levels on the way which were broken. The levels I'm referring to are this one and then immediately the one before it. So basically, I see those two as two um, consolidation in a sort zones that the price managed to break above and continuing higher. The very next level above is at least my broker somewhere around this zone. So long story short we already have the bullish pattern we have good levels on the way no divergences my idea here is to look for pullbacks and then continuation up um and that's that's pretty much the whole idea right now in terms of levels to the upside of course that will depend on your um risk reward ratio but keep in mind where the strong levels are and yes you do have these two spikes on the way which the first one was already tested the second one is slightly above it we can mark them with this thing like that All right but then besides those here is where um, the real deal starts so when the pullback actually the pullback already starting but if we get a setup and i'm waiting for this thing to uh, issue a setup there if it's a good one near a good level i will be taking it and i will be paying it close attention to the levels that we have above all right if the price starts dropping very fast without any like here for example without any pullbacks without any um structures and actual setups being formed i'm not attacking a level right i'm looking for a setup so if that starts happening keep in mind the larger picture the weekly chart this is why i started with this one because there is still a possibility we go make this uh, move to the downside and simply continue lower okay so no rush let it develop as it wish if it provides a setup we can go ahead and attack it and try to make some money out of it all right, thank you and have a good week.